Okay, so hello UPSC aspirants. Uh, my name is Ritesh Kumar Singh, an ex-civil servant. And for the last few years, my students are consistently producing real results. And one of the real results is produced by uh, Nithila Priyanti. She secured 143 rank in UPSC 2023. So hello, Nithila. I hope you're well and fine now. Hi, sir. Yes, sir. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So before starting the conversations, let me give you the brief uh, overview over the reality of the coaching institutes. Yes. Now, what we have seen since the declaration of the results on 16th of April, what we have seen is the huge bombardment of big advertisements by the big coaching institutes claiming every possible rank as theirs. They are almost in a mad rush to claim the top ranks. They want to also what, eat into each other claims. But actually, the actual results produced by them are very less. And what I claim is, what I actually pronounce them as not real results, but Joomla results. So these are just Joomlas. Now, why this happens? Why this happens? Because the real preparation starts after the completion of foundation coaching. And when we talk about, yes, there can be, yes, there can be what few exceptional students who have cleared after foundation coaching, but they can be counted on fingers. But when we talk about the people who are capable, but they struggle after the foundation coaching. And this can be seen from the numbers. Because each and every year around 5 lakh people go for foundation coachings across the country. But around 1,000 get selected. So why this? Why is there a huge difference? Yes, 5 lakh on one side preparing for the UPSC and only 1,000 clearing. Because again, I will be re uh, repeating that the real preparation starts after the foundation coaching because now the student requires deeper reading, consolidation of knowledge, conceptual development, use of the concepts more practice, guidance, problem solving, motivation, constant motivation, and yes, maybe a requirement of an expert mentor. So all these are making UPSC fit. All these students become UPSC fit. Hence, they come in what top 1000. Now see, UPSC is the examination of demand and supply. So unless you know the exact demand of UPSC, whatever the supply you are going to give will not work. You may be very hardworking, you may be very sincere, you're putting lots and lots of hours, you may have read n number of books, but the question is, are those supply meeting the demand of UPSC? So the demand actually is very different. And for that, there's a requirement of an expert mentor. Yes. And for this fulfillment, Nithila joined me. Yes, Nithila joined me, first of all, for upgrading her answer writing and essay skills. Yes, in the month of what, June 2022. Now, her desire was to improve her writing skills and essays, and definitely she improved a lot. I have gone through her various answers and essays and she developed well. Now, further for the 2023 attempt, she was in constant touch for the prelims examination, the tips, okay, are the problems, the means examination, and even for the interview, the dev sessions. Now, let us listen to Nithila. So she will be explaining her journey and that will be uh, giving you immense delight. So let us hear to her. So Nithila, welcome now. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. So first of all, congratulations for your immense success. 143 is a very, very good rank. Yes. And uh, you have always delighted me with your performance, even when I was checking your copies. So, uh, and I was really impressed by your writings and the essay, the way you developed over a period of time. Okay. Now, so first of all, let the students know or the students know, uh, what is the first reaction when you saw your name in the list and as high as 143? Yes, Yes, sir. So I was really happy. In in fact, I was speechless because I did not expect such a high rank. And then my reaction was just to share it with my near and dear ones. So I shared it with my friends, parents, and they were all celebrating it. So that was how the evening went. Then I was, of course, thanking the mentors who guided me for that. Okay, so that means your parents, your relatives, your friends were more happy than you. <laughs> yeah, so. You know, okay, that, that usually happens that you so people around you become very very happy yes and uh, was this the first uh, person that you uh, in your family who cleared the civil services are Sorry? you the first person are you the first person who cleared yes civil sir services? i am yes sir i am the first person who have cleared it okay so that is de definitely a big thing yes that's a really big thing now so uh, let us talk about your journey for the examination uh, you have done your foundation coaching before uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, what are the problems that you faced after completion of foundation coaching? The common problems. So, uh, during the foundation course, much of my time was devoted just to attending the classes. That was what I had been doing for a year long. A year long. Mm -hmm. And then I back home, I just used to revise the notes that has been provided to me, and that was how it went. 
So the effort that I contributed from my side was in fact very minimal. Hmm. I was so reluctant even to go through the question papers. That is a blunder which I feel no aspirant should commit. Hmm. But yeah, I did not, uh, I did go through them, but it was not very adequate, I would say. Uh -huh. So these were the common issues. And another one issue was my notes were just scattered around different hmm. sources. Hmm. 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 So I did not have a single stop solution for any particular subject. So, ah, this so, ah, so this is a problem which most of students face because they see that they have to read NCRTs also, the class notes also there and the other reference books are also there. So everything is very, very scattered. It's very difficult for them to actually bring all the things on the same table or maybe on the same plate. So this is exactly. a really the struggle for the students. Yes. Exactly. So. Okay. And, and what the, are the, ah, so, yes, yes, please add on. Please. Sorry to interrupt, sir. Ah. But actually the, another major reason was the number of tests that has to be given, the number ah. of writing that has to be done. All these was not actually uh, adequate enough during the first attempt. Mm -hmm. So that was how it went. And these were the few challenges that I encountered. Mm -hmm. So what is the relevance of what practice tests during the preparation? What are the, what they give or what they actually provide and how many times or how much they should be attempted? Yes. So I would say it differs when it, come, uh, when it comes to prelims and when it comes to things. So considering the prelim section, so it's all about the time management and the accuracy with which we attempt the questions. Mm -hmm. So the I feel the exam is all about getting it personalized for our own convenience. So ah. there is no specific range, the number mm -hmm. of questions which a candidate mm -hmm. should attempt, as mm -hmm. well as the, the subjects from which those has to be chosen. All mm -hmm. these vary grossly from one individual to another. Mm -hmm. So these tests actually provide us a playing field where we can put all these skills to test. Mm -hmm. So that is how it helps. And these, uh, the second thing is, comes with the CSAT part. Definitely mm -hmm. we need more amount of practice, not mm -hmm. just for the GS, but also for the CSAT. So there too, these practice tests can give us a wide range of questions that can mm -hmm. be expected in the actual exam. Mm -hmm. So these are certain things. So when it comes to mains, of course, the themes, very themes from which the topics can be asked, questions mm. can be picked. Mm. So that comes only with practice. Mm. Even though if we couldn't attend so many tests, at least we can do this brainstorming sessions, mm -hmm. which would be helpful in analyzing how our train of thoughts run during the exam. So that is something I feel is crucial. Okay, so what were the major gains when you came contact, uh, in contact with me and uh, through the answer writing classes? What were the major gains that you got? Okay, so so I would first I would say in case of prelims, actually the strategy that you suggested I found it to be new because you uh, asked me to go through previous years questions which was of twenty years, mm -hmm. and uh, that really helped me a lot because the uh, new pattern in which mm -hmm. they are asking question, which is the assertion and reasoning type of question, mm -hmm. that was not asked by UPSC in the last ten years, but uh, was asked by it before that. Before it was that. during nineties, nineteen nineties, and two thousand one, two thousand two. Mm. Those uh, these assertion questions were very prominent during that time. Mm. I had no clue about it, mm. and so uh, since I had attempted the uh, previous year's questions right from two thousand, mm. I found it very handy. Like I was not that nervous when I came to saw those questions in the twenty twenty three prelims. Mm. So that was very helpful. Mm. So then I would say the consolidation of notes. As you always say, yeah, <laughs> I just had a single yeah. video for each and every subject, and it yeah. never feed mm. out. So that is something was very helpful. Yeah. And the uh, next thing would be the classes for certain uh, specific areas of the syllabus. Mm. For example, in GS2, we have these kind of police reforms, judicial mm. reforms. Mm. These are topics that we ge generally tend to skip during mm. our normal preparation. But these were covered by you in great depth. Mm. So that actually provided useful fodder points both in essays as well as in other as well as in other type of questions. Mm -hmm. So these were really helpful. Mm -hmm. And when it came to the interview session, mm -hmm. like I still remember you conducted a one-to-one -one session mm -hmm. about how uh, I should go through my DAF because mm -hmm. I had given so much of points in my DAF, but I had very limited time to prepare. Mm -hmm. So you actually provided me the insight that what are the most crucial areas areas that I had to focus upon. So these were really helpful mm -hmm. from your sides. Mm -hmm. See, I always ask my students to when they are going for the prelims examination to do last 25 years of questions, yes, uh, because they benefit a lot because when we also become the familiar with the language of the questions and the forthcoming questions will not be looking new in terms of language. And when, uh, yes, and the thing is, as you stated, the options, okay, the options. So the one pair, two pair system of asking questions started from 2022 prelims, but assertion reasoning, it was asked 20 years back. 
So that means when we are doing last 25 years of MCQs, we are also becoming familiar with the possible options which can be asked, yes, or variety of options which can be put. So that's why many times students would skip all those things. Yes. So the basic things that the students are not doing actually make their journey difficult. And for that, there's always a there's requirement of a mentor to guide them regularly. So hence, it comes to the picture. And see, uh, answer writing, so you've developed into a good answer writer and essay writer. And, uh, but uh, answer writing is a time-taking exercise. Okay? It's basically, a, it's, it cannot be developed in a day. It cannot be developed after prelims examination. So does it require an year-long buildup so that you become master for the mains examination? Yes. So I would say, as you rightly mentioned, like it takes a considerable time when we get accustomed to the structuring of answers and so on. Mm -hmm. So I started this after uh, my first attempt, like I was unable to clear it by a very narrow margin, like mm -hmm. 0 0.7, 0 0.7 marks. That was the margin in this, the prelims cut off. Mm -hmm. So after that, immediately I began my answer writing mm -hmm. the first time. Mm -hmm. So every, I used to do it uh, on a weekly basis of more mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. So generally, I watch the uh, daily news analysis yeah. or I'll read the newspapers. And mm -hmm. then at the end of the week, when I revise those back, I'll just attempt a few questions, mm -hmm. whether I'll be able to answer it or not. That was what I'd be checking by then. Mm -hmm. So this was something I attempted. And also, I gave a lot of thematic tests mm -hmm. after completing, for example, if I dedicate one month to a particular subject. And yeah. after completing that subject, I would attempt a thematic test. Mm -hmm. Just to know whether I have covered the themes or not, if I'm able to answer it properly or not, that was the mm -hmm. uh, that was the reason for which I did. Mm -hmm. And of course, during those year, uh, those time, I was never able to finish the paper on time. Mm -hmm. I used to take around seven hours, five hours. <laughs> these were my actually. This mm -hmm. is how it started. Mm -hmm. So I really found it very difficult during then. But then I improved it eventually. Once mm -hmm. I cleared the prelims of 2023, and then when I really uh, when I began to take these simulation kind of thing, I was yeah. focusing both on content as well as the time together. Mm -hmm. So first, I would say that having content is very important. Ah, that is content it, is very important. Yes. 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 So yeah. once we have a good grip over the content, then we can yeah. take our own time for consolidating the uh, time limit. That could mm -hmm. be done on a later part. That that is generally what I feel. So that's why my classes for answer writing work. So I provide you the complete overview yes. of the content, yes? Exactly. So. Which impacted the GS papers as well as the essay paper. Do that. You, so. Uh, so that means now in this umbrella of things, now you are able to include the current affairs, your basic notes. So because you have got the concept to write now. Exactly. So that's why you work, work, worked well. Now, so that means building of the concept is very, very important to become a good writer. And see, writing yes. is an out output. Yeah? Writing is an output. It requires, first of all, good input. And see, input of what quantity, of what variety, and what quality. It matters a lot. So when you become a good writer over in the examination. So that worked well, yes, with you. Definitely, it's visible in your, what, the rank itself. Now, so uh, so similarly, when you talk about the, uh, what are the major do's and don'ts can you elaborate with respect to the prelims examination, forthcoming prelims examination? Uh, we have seen the UPSC release the cutoff for the previous examination, which was very low. That is 75 for a general candidate. 74 for the OBC candidates. So why is there a drop, substantial drop in the cutoff? So what I generally feel when it comes to the uh, low cutoff this year, probably it could be because of the CSAT papers. Huh? Because mm -hmm. the CSAT paper was something which was really hard this time. And uh -huh. even uh, we were able to find that there was a gross difference in the mm -hmm. uh, keys mm -hmm. provided by different institutes also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think since the uh, CSAT, which is a qualifying paper, which has to be cleared, since it became tough, I think the general cutoff also fell down drastically. Okay. That could be one of the reasons. And mm -hmm. the second, of course, the uh, different pattern of options. Options, like, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. uh, only one, only two, these kind of options, mm -hmm. as well as these assertion and reasoning type of questions. I think these two would have played a part in bringing down the cutoff this year. Uh, so what UPS is giving uh, giving an indication to the aspirants is the last moment study will not work. Because exactly. last, last moment study just become factual in nature. So what yes. is required is a deeper reading concept building. So when your concepts are very sound, then definitely you will be able to what read through all the statements given in the prelims question. And you can go through all the uh, options in, in a very broad based manner. So that means the broad based reading is required for UPSC. Even the prelims examination may be requiring year long buildup. So hence the examination is not pre and means it's a combined examination. Yes, sir. It so, is. so it, it should not be. It should not be taken. Okay, now the prelims is coming. So it will be too factual in nature. It will never work. 
So UPSC is clearly giving an indication that you have to put what entire years of what consolidated studies, then you will be able to clear the prelims examination. Okay, so the, the, the options pattern can only be answered when you have gone, done what deeper study, even the concepts are very sound. Otherwise, facts will not be working here. And see, the students also come say exams sir, are coming very, very close and it's too factual, too many facts to remember. So I clearly say that because you are preparing in the last moment, that's why the thing looks factual in nature. When you are in the flow of the things, then the things are also in the flow. So the facts become a part of the entire theory and concept. Then they will not look like facts. So that's the thing that they miss in their preparation. Okay, so uh, so in this regard, so what is being uh, the, the key area? So just uh, uh, now uh, I taught what nine students for the 2023 examination and a continuous guidance and three have cleared. That means a huge success rate of one third now. And for a 2024 examination, 20 students I'm guiding regularly and I'm expecting this result to double six plus or seven plus. And for the 2025 examination, I'm launching now a, what, a, 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 a program itself, yes. Because we have seen what various strugglers and they are really sincere students who are struggling after the, after the foundation coachings because they're almost neglected. Because foundation coaching are usually interested in what starting new batches rather than providing what deep, uh, what deeper held holding, uh, hand holding or what guidance to them for a longer run because that's a time taking exercise. That's a pain taking exercise. And uh, when the, these institutes come under criticism, what they do, they create a mentorship team, but usually comprising of what youngsters, yes. But, and these youngsters, they themselves never cleared the examination. So it becomes more disastrous exercise. So here, uh, so hence uh, the right way is what to find a very, very what expert mentor, experienced mentor. We've got a profile of such uh, nature that has guided lots of students to success. Now in this regard, I will be showing you or sharing something with you. That is what the Achieve Rank in UPSC 225 program. With all my learnings of guiding the students like Nithila of last three, four years, 15 plus students, they are of different positions, IES and IFS, IRS and IRMS. So there were students, even what certain TCS examination cleared students. I'll be sharing my experience and I put that experience in guiding the students. I will also be requiring what Nithilas, what inputs, what can be added in this guidance program. Yeah. So let me show the, you the achieve rank in UPSC 225 PDF. Let me share that. I hope Nithila is clearly visible. So just a moment. Sir. Ah. So will it be possible to share the screen? Uh, I have shared the screen. Are, are you able to see? Ah, yes, sir. Now it is fine. Okay. Yes. So is it clear properly? Yes, sir. It, it is. Uh, should I increase the size of the it's video? It's all right, sir. It's, it's all right. right. It's all right. So so when we go through the um, go go through the entire PDF, it's basically designed for those students who are struggling after foundation coaching. Or they are doing their self-study, but they are not knowing in what direction to progress. Working people are there who are struggling with the time management. So that means it's a program which has been designed on the basis of the learning sort of over the last, what, eight to 10 years. How to ultimately make a student successful if the students are really sincere and capable of clearing the examination. So now, so first of all, I have clearly stated lots of students do foundation coaching, but only 1,000 get selected in UPSC because real profession starts after completion of foundation coaching. Now, when we go through this, Uh, so this is advanced daily mentorship. So it's daily mentorship. It's not what once in a week or once in a month that you are coming for guidance. It's a daily mentorship. So this is fully guided revision and practice program. So it's a revision practice program based on daily, weekly, and monthly timetable and covering all the stages, prelims, mains, and interview. Now, I've clearly stated suitable. So the students who have completed their GS foundation coaching but still not able to clear UPSC prelims and mains examination. Now doing self-study, but are clueless about the right approach. College students, but are not able to do regular studies. And working professionals who lack time for regular studies. That means, and there are various aspirants who in what different dimensions, and they really want what uh, a, a, a mentor so as to guide them through the entire course of the examination. Now, for this, I have highlighted, uh, first of all, uh, the people who have cleared the success stories underneath, yes. So there are few names now, 14, 15 people. 
So uh, two people have cleared the IAS. One is Indian Foreign Service, Harsh, I was mentioning about. Uh, Harsh Saxena to Nithila. And uh, maybe I Indian Foreign Service is a dream job. I hope, expect uh, Nithila. Yeah. I hope this is your dream job, Indian Foreign Service. Sorry, sir. Is Indian Foreign Service your dream job? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, so once you get your name in the foreign service, so I will be connecting you to Harsh Saxena. So okay, that he will, he will be guiding you in terms of taking the baby steps in the career first. <laughs> sure. Then you can become mature over a period of time. And mm -hmm. yes, uh, there are various people now, even what certain people clearing the PCS examination. Tushar got last year. Now I've added the name of Nithila also here. So Nithila is also coming in this list. Now, so what are the common problems that, that I've identified when I've uh, gone through the, the problems of the students? There are six major problems now. The first of all, what they find after the foundation coaching is absence of a regular dedicated guide that the people are not able to find. So hence they would keep on getting distracted. They are, nobody is guiding them regularly and finding they're searching for solutions. They've got enormous problems, but nobody guide them. So uh, this is the major problem. Next is the lack of right approach. So do not have clarity on exact demand of UPSC and how to fulfill. Now have no clear cut execution plan. Not able to do exam oriented self study. Miss right atmosphere doing self study. And the major problem is not able to maintain self discipline, self motivation, and time management. And fail to keep a track of that performance, daily performance, weekly, and monthly progress. So hence, all these are the problems which the students face. And the thing is, what Nithila was saying, everything is what dispersed. Entire notes are dispersed. Now notes are dispersed, and it's difficult to cover all. So NCRTs are there on the table or in the room, but lack of coverage, interpretation. So they are not able to do. Reading and retention, how to read and retain. Many times the people are forgetting. Why they are forgetting? Because they are treating the things too factual in nature, rather than what? Knowledge building exercises, which are not being done properly. General studies, inability to maintain balance in studying, retaining and applying subjects of general studies. So application is very poor. Current affairs, again, they are not able to keep hold on current affairs on monthly basis. Many times they buy the magazines and they are piling up in the corners of the room, mostly half read or unread. So they all they are always interested in buying a new magazine because the feel of the magazine is good, smell is good. But finally, when the examination comes, when they are unread, so then they make a plan, okay, to cover one magazine per day. And that is the biggest disaster. That never works. Okay. And notes making is difficult for them. Because once they are not, they are first of all, they are not able to read properly. Notes making require what? Intellect also. And what? Flow charting. So, because as Nithila stated, she also consolidated everything in what? One PDF file or one topic. So, that is actually required. And that has to be done very, very smartly. So, hence, again, that is an art to be developed. And hence, the doubt remains. And the problem is, lack like art of writing, yes. So writing is a big fear factor, almost no writing practice. So students just keep on reading, reading and reading, but actually they are not writing properly. They are not doing daily writing practice. And there's no one to guide how to improve their writing, how to improve their impactful writing. So hence, enable to convert knowledge into impactful writing. Answers do not match the and fulfill the questions demands. Lack thinking abilities to solve unconventional question types, which are completely out of the box questions. They are not able to deliver. And, and, the question, and the problem is fear of ethics paper. So ethics paper is they are doing what rot learning or various notes, but that never works because ethics is a paper which requires what practical application. And the, one of the biggest drawback is they are very, very afraid of case studies. So case studies, their students are not able to what deliver in a right manner. Just a minute, sorry. Huh. Now, similarly, essay. Now, very few students develop the art of writing a good essay because essay is a complete knowledge. Now, essay, that means what you are writing in essay, first of all, it does not have a defined syllabus. And what you are using here is a complete general studies knowledge. Your school knowledge, your experiential knowledge, maybe the knowledge of your optional is, will also be used. So, essay is a complete uh, outlet of knowledge on a particular theme by using every possible input that you had till date. And for that, to write a write-up of 1,200 words, again, requires what proper impactful presentation. Yes. So that is students like. So many students think that clearing prelims examination is the only examination. No, it will never work. You have to clear all those stages in maximum one or two attempts. 
And if you are not able to do this in two or three attempts, you will be wasting no your number of years. So at least two attempts are enough for at least clearing the examination if you are in the right hands or guided by the right expert. Further, let test practice then the fear of unknown. When you are not able to clear, so the fine final fear of the unknown also comes into picture. There's huge anxiety, goosebumps. Okay. Now, finally, many people uh, break under this fear of unknown and they will start to search for the alternatives. But despite having capabilities to clear the examination, they are not able to what make through the examination. Now, that's why this program has been designed to address all these cases. First of all, this is a planned completion. This program provides planned completion on the basis of monthly timetable shared in advance for all the stages, mains and prelim, prelim stage. Now, this is accompanied by daily guided revision classes from Monday to Friday, two hours a day. And this is delivered by me, yes, because of, I have got expertise in all the GS portions. So I deliver majorly all the areas with what writing practice. Now, what is the plan for the 2025 examination is I will be starting in July from the main specific portions. Now, main specific portions that is from July till October. Then from the November onwards till the prelims examination, I will be picking up those areas which are common in pre and mains. So that you are smoothly moving towards the prelims examination and you're already ready, ready for the mains examination after the prelims uh, is over. Yes. So that's the way it is being designed. Now the revision material. So that means daily class handouts and the all the material is then given in what compiled book, which is actually the final PDF from various sources. So that you will not be requiring what multiple sources to revise. Now, continuous practice of MCQs on a weekly basis. So, for example, one week of classes is over. And that means now the connected MCQs are shared for on the basis of classes coverage of the entire week. So that you are immediately practicing. Because revision and practice should go hand in hand. Because many students are never practicing. So, similarly, when the main specific things are being covered, then the answers, writing, practice is given at the end of the week. And once the entire thing, for example, the entire Indian society of social justice is covered, then at the end of the session, of the complete session, then the final answer writing practice are being done in the class itself, how to write the master drafts of good answers. So here, the same. Then comes current affairs consolidation. So uh, the magazine, the monthly current affairs quiz, as well as what potential answers from the editorials and articles, which are main specific. Essay paper, case studies, performance improvement, now, also sessions by the serving officers, which keep on providing the inputs. So all these are the things which have been compiled in this program and which becomes a sumptuous program, which even a person who is uh, you know, very distracted from the studies, if becoming part of this process, can definitely develop himself or herself into a capable candidate and maybe clearing the examination. So uh, Nithila, any more inputs? So let me show you again. Yes. So, so it is uh, on the basis of proper timetables, monthly timetables. The timetables divide into what weekly coverage on the basis of the classes, daily revision classes. So classes will be accompanied by the class handouts on daily basis, accompanied by the compiled book. When the uh, for for example, a part of uh, in governance is over, then the governance book will be shared, which will be having what the coverage from multiple sources at one place. The consolidation will be there. Then. Governance will be followed by general studies mains answer. So once the theme is covered, then the mains answer writing, uh, exercise being given, test is being given, and even discussions directly in the class, live to the students. Now the essay paper discussions, I hope essay paper case studies, students require regular practice. Now CSET, performance improvement, now the performance tracker. So students will be asked to create their trackers. I share a format where the students maintain so they are able to see what they've done for the entire week, for the entire month. So they can keep a track, which are the strong areas, which are the weak areas with requiring what re-revision. Everything has been properly mapped. Now further. So any uh, thing uh, that you need to add uh, or you need to suggest, yes, Nithila. So I feel it is very holistic, sir, and it does offer like one-stop solution. So I don't have much, in, much, uh, much to add. Okay, I hope if you would have been a student who are still preparing for the examination, when you see all of these, I hope that solves all your doubts. Exactly, sir. It does. Okay. 
So this is a program which is going to start from what uh, the ju July. I've also pre prepared an advanced timetable. So I, as I, I was telling that I will be starting with the main specific portion and the portions which are not usually taught properly in the coaching institutes like the July's Indian Society Social Justice, Social Empowerment, Communalism, yes, Ethics, Integrity and Aptitude. And the applied part, not simply theories. August will be governance, ethics in governance, role of civil services, internal security, accompanied by essays, case studies, what, because essays also derived from a particular theme, so the related essays will also be discussed. September will be a post-independence history, history of the world, political philosophies, and October onwards, it's Indian polity, science and tech, which are common for the prelims examination. October, November, science and tech, followed by December is geography and environment, January is economy, then ending with history because history is difficult to retain. So history will be fresh. As we end with history, it will be what properly settling the mind before the examination. So it's what February is ancient, March is medieval, April is modern India. So when we are approaching the examination, it will be what history in the mind completely because students are very, very about, uh, concerned about how to deal with the, this vast history. And then finally, in the month of May, before the examination, will be current affairs revision. So everything has been included in terms of what means answer writing, essays, case studies, the themes, the MCQs, and with the proper flow of timetable. I hope this should be working well with the students. Now, so this is the learning over the period of time in terms of guiding what those 15 plus students to success. Now the, now the time has come to ultimately reach to the wider set of people who are actually dissatisfied uh, uh, and even what maybe uh, dissatisfied with themselves also that they are not able to score uh, in the prelims examination, mains examination, but they have the capabilities. Now, so I'm just addressing if they are sincere students watching me. So uh, registration is open, free registration is open, free classes in July you can join. You can join July classes. Registration link is given in this video. And one more thing, two more videos I will be touching. One is the interview with Harsh Saxena, the Indian Foreign Service Officer, and Tushar Sharma. Yes, Tushar Sharma, who cleared the examination last year. So that you become confident that I am the right person to guide you. Yes. Okay, because see, it's very, very difficult because the, the, the thing is very, very huge. And there are so many players in between. It's really difficult to judge who is the right person. And so that's why the students get confused. Yes. So here, registration open, free registration. Okay, free July classes. So please attempt, see the quality and decide yourself. Now, so this is a message for the students. So I am thanking uh, the students who have watched this. And my next video will also be coming with another student of mine clearing the examination. Okay, so thank you. And please do connect. Thank you. Yes. Next